Hi everyone, this is Tech Support by RD, and this video is a follow-up to my existing How to Change the DNS Server Settings video for TP-Link routers. Now that video was for um, newer models of TP-Link routers. However, it feel I feel like I haven't done a video for those of you with older routers. So here it is. Here's the video on how to change that. Now. I'm not going. I'm going to be re-explaining the steps for each of the model of the routers here, um, but if you need a more in-depth explanation, can go to that video for your reference. Um, so for this tutorial, we will be covering three variants of the TP-Link router user interface. This one, which is used on the on the somewhat later models of TP-Link routers, um, typically they're wireless AC routers. Um, this interface, which is a version of the um, somewhat um, legacy looking interface for wireless N routers, which are somewhat newer. And we're also going to be tackling um, those of you with TP-Link routers that are of the older variety that have the green t design before TP-Link changed their logo to the blue logo that we all know. So let's start with the first model, which is this interface for those of you with slightly newer, with somewhat newer um, TP-Link routers. Typically, you would find this style of user interface, as I mentioned, on the wireless AC routers, um, dual band routers that they make. Now, DNS settings are not available in the basic tab on this particular user interface. In fact, if I go to the internet tab over here, um, I get the similar screen screen for choosing my connection type just like in quick setup yeah if you want to know how to do an initial setup of your router i have another video about that but um you'll find that there are no settings for dns here so to change dns server settings we actually have to switch to the advanced tab on the top and on the side just like the with the newer routers we go to network internet and from here we go to, we can see the current IP address assigned to us and of course the current primary and secondary DNS servers that are assigned to us as well. Now in that previous video I had to um, blank it out because that's my actual connection but this is just a simulator simulator page. So yeah, you would see your primary and secondary DNS addresses here. And if we go to advanced we can change these addresses. Typically we can't change these because these are assigned to us by our ISP. But if we go to advanced, we have the option to use the following DNS addresses. So select the second option after you expand the advanced tab and enter the DNS addresses, the ser DNS um, server IP addresses rather. So for example, Cloudflare's DNS addresses are 1.1.1.1 for the primary and 1.0.0.1 for the secondary and then you click save and after a few moments um, your you will see your new DNS settings appear at the bottom now since this is a simulator it doesn't actually update but it should behave just like in my other video where you see that the DNS settings actually reflect what we've just entered now for IPv6 um, if you're use if you have IPv6 service from your ISP, um, you can do a similar thing. You scroll down, and you go to the dedicated section for IPv6 here on the side. It's one of the main options. And um, now, typically, you will be able to change this if your connection type is dynamic IP. So let's change that. Rem um, I'm not sure about the other options, but pass through, you won't be able to. Um, change the DNS server bec settings because it's going to actually um, try to pass through whatever IPv6 addresses it's getting upstream. So if you want to define your own DNS addresses for IPv6, um, choose dynamic IP or any other protocol as required by your ISP and hope that you don't have to use bridge mode because if you use bridge mode for IPv6, um, there's you can't change your DNS server settings that way. Now, just like before, we go to advanced, and under DNS address, we choose get the f use the following DNS addresses. So again, for Cloudflare, it's 2606-4700, um, 4700, 2 colons, 1111. 
and um, it's similar let me copy paste this because I don't have to type it in all again um, so this these are the IPv6 addresses for um, I for Cloudflare um, their IPv6 um, um, DNS servers however since once again this is a simulator and if I were to click save here um, these addresses will appear up here however the simulator is wrong because you won't be seeing these num four octet style IP addresses here for which are IPv4 you should see something like this with colons in the middle you would separate each of the parts of the IP address rather than dots which are used in the network page so again this is a simulator if this were a real router you, we would be seeing um, addresses similar to these up there when we hit save so that's how to change the DNS server on um, the wa most wireless AC based routers from TP-Link that are slightly newer models and have a UI that looks like this now let's move on to the slightly older models um, these are typical on some lower end routers from TP-Link um, same pr similar procedure um, typically we would start on the status page when you sign in but we we'll go to network and we and we go to WAN um, it's the first it happens to be the first page so we're thrown there automatically however you can click on the link if you like and once again you should be dynamic IP and this time instead of two radio buttons like in their last router on this one we can check this checkbox enter IP addresses for the DNS servers we want to use and hit save now since this is a simulator it's not going to save but if this were a real router the checkbox would be steady and whatever IP addresses we have entered earlier would actually persist here um, but again this is a simulator so just for illustration purposes now IPv6 similar deal we go to the menu on the side and there are actually two separate um, sections here one is for IPv6 status and the second is for setup so go to setup and then look for um, this entry here and choose use the following IPv6 DNS servers and enter the IPv6 address of the um, DNS servers you want to use um, again th this is IPv6 so we separate um, these parts with a colon instead of a dot with as, with, as with the IPv4 which earlier in the network tab so there we go we've entered our two addresses and can we hit save if this were a real router our settings will persist after we hit save and if we go back to the status page the IPv6 addresses for DNS should have appeared beside here however since this is just a simulator it's blank however on a real router the IP addresses you entered should appear here and let's go to the those of you with an even older model of TP-Link router um, this doesn't have IPv6 support um, only IPv4 in this particular model that I am using right here however the steps should be pretty similar so once again once you're signed into your router network and go to the WAN page wide area network that's going to the internet check the same checkbox use these DNS servers enter the IP address there and we hit save and our settings should be um, saved um, like um, these th these checkboxes should be steady and the settings we have here should persist and if we go to the status page um, our DNS servers appear here now again this is a simulator if this were a real router um, the IP addresses we just entered will appear here on our status page I believe in the other model um, on the slightly newer model with a similar UI uh, you can find the DNS servers settings in a similar section if we go to the even newer model if we are on our network map and click the um, um, advanced tab and go to status we could see our DNS IP addresses from there as well so uh, yeah we went a little bit off track going to the evolution of the status page on TP-Link routers throughout the generations however the gist of it is if you need a quick reference to what the current DNS settings are you can also view them not only within network but also with the within the respective status pages of your particular router so status page here on an even older model 
um, status page of a slightly newer model that's a lower end model and wireless AC routers um, advanced status and you'll be able to see your DNS settings there so that's how to change the DNS server settings for TP-Link routers that are um, that are of the slightly older variety um, and even for routers with the old TP-Link logo. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching.